So, it is Tuesday. I am taking another day off of rowing. I know, three in a row. Crazy. I'm that tired. So I'm going to try and rejuvenate myself, uh, get a lot of sleep tonight, and then uh, get back on the horse tomorrow. So, the video today is going to be my top five favorite videos that I always go back to and look at for the technique. So, here we go. Number five is Zach Purchase Sculling. It's so smooth. I don't know how he doesn't catch his shoulders as much as I do. Like, it, I just need, that's what I'm always working on. Number four, the video that is actually on my own channel that I put on there to show my friends, but kept on there and it gets a ton of views. The 2015 World Championships, the Swiss Lightweight Four. <laughs> These guys are smooth. Like, they're so smooth. Yeah, and everyone is just so in sync. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Number three, that is the men's heavyweight eight from 2012 London Olympics. This video is just horsepower, but the Germans are so clean. Yeah, they're so clean. The bowman of the German boat is my favorite because he's the shortest. And so he has to have, you know, some of the best technique of the boat to help set up the horses in the boat. And those guys are, fast yeah the the british almost get them at the 1250 area but then they just chop back out like whew. number two we got ourselves the rio 2016 lightweight double now this video can't be found on youtube i actually had to find it on some random facebook page and then i downloaded it so if anybody's interested in watching the video, again, it's in the link in the description. I mean, just look at them. They're 1,500 meters. Everyone connected. Five boats connected. God, it's just so fast. Damn. The, but just watching Jeremy Azu is like watching perfection. He is so clean and just, of course, he's got the horsepower behind him. I think he pulled 557 at one point, pretty much at lightweight. That is insane. Whew. Couple honorable mentions. We got the London 2012 men's single. This is one of the first videos I watched at a rowing camp to demonstrate why you shouldn't try and break your arms. So if you look, Sinek and Drysdale are neck and neck, but Sinek's breaking his arms. So my coach at the time told me, you know, this, these small technique changes make 1% difference. And then you can see Drysdale starts pulling away. Of course, my old rowing videos, gotta have those. Uh, those are definitely important for changing my technique nowadays because I don't want to spend the next year doing the same mistake and then just ingrain that. So I'm always trying to keep my shoulders down in a way so I don't catch them up at the catch, you know, right up into my shoulders. So, and finally, the flood, but take that. Nothing else needs to be said. And finally, number one, we got ourselves the London 2012 men's four, most particularly Josh Dunkley Smith in these few clips. Oh my God, when I look at the, I just want to row as cleanly as possible, but I wish I was, you know, pulling a 535, but it's just, it's smooth to catch the sits up tall. And just every time I go back, and I just watched that video. Now Drew Jen is in the boat as well, and he has a great video on how to think about moving the boat. Will it make the boat go faster? And I watch that a couple times a month. <laughs> uh, really just letting the boat run, feeling the boat. That those two videos go hand in hand with each other because Drew Jen is in 
heavy four. And just watching Josh Dunkley Smith row so smoothly is just oh, it's mind numbingly awesome. So anyway, those are my top five videos I go back to to look at the technique. Uh, hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Hopefully I'm on the water or near. Peace. Long